Het vierde internationaal congres, uh, de biodiversiteit van uh, het Guyana Schild, is vandaag afgesloten. Gedurende de afgelopen vijf dagen zijn deskundigen uit de drie Guyana's, te weten Suriname, Frans Guyana, Frans Guyana en verder Venezuela, Brazilië en Colombia, bij elkaar geweest om informatie uit te wisselen over de biodiversiteit van het Guyana Schild en oplossingen voor het behoud daarvan. Het uiteindelijk doel van de beraadslagingen is dat het menselijk welzijn gestimuleerd wordt. Zo waren alle participanten het op de laatste dag erover eens dat het Guyana Schild de biodiversiteitshub van planeet aarde is. De wereld heeft maar één Guyana Schild en het is onze verantwoordelijkheid dat wij het Guyana Schild als unieke erfgoed dat aan ons is toevertrouwd beschermen en conserveren, zegt Guyana's president David Granger bij de afsluiting. U hoort de reacties van enkele participanten over hun ervaringen tijdens het vierde biodiversiteitscongres. As it relates to food security, we know that the aquatic system provides a wide source of um, marine resources, including fishes for um, protein, which, which is a major part of um, our diet. And it also helps in the production of, of fresh water for, for drinking purposes and for other commercial use. It's been fantastic. As a new WWF officer, I mean, I've only been here for a few months, but getting this exposure, getting to meet uh, my colleagues um, from across the region who are involved in conservation work and hearing um, about their work and sharing my experiences um, as well has been, I think, uh, um, one of the greatest parts um, of the Congress. And um, I mean, it's taught me so much about my own country uh, as well and uh, really prompting in me um, this sort of renewed fire and renewed passion um, to uh, create an environment um, for my future um, that, is, uh, that is prosperous, that is healthy, um, and I want to be able to leave a legacy I'm young. I want to be able to leave a good legacy. WWF Guyana, as a co-organizer of this uh, IBG Congress in Guyana, is it, it stands as a key uh, moment in, in the work that we do. Uh, it represents uh, the coordinated effort that is needed really in managing um, impacts on our natural resources as the Guyana Shield, but also that richness that we have biodiversity richness, cultural richness that we have in the Guyana Shield that's different from other parts of the world, even different from the Amazon and stands out as, as, as something very important. I see that this Congress brings together a number of people, a number of organizations, a number of, of expertise and experiences, information, and that's the, the, the important thing that we need um, to maintain this richness of the Guyana Shield. We've had thousands of hits and likes on our Facebook page, yet we encourage you to keep engaging in this process and in the conversation on biodiversity conservation. Join us here and on other venues when we share this message of hope with the Guyanas, the Guyana Shield, and all of the world. Thank you for watching and joining us here at the Congress where we share our feelings and our hearts because the conservation of the Guyana Shield cannot be done by a few alone. It is a combined responsibility. That was dus een verslag van Gerald Pinas, communication officer van WWF Guyanas in Suriname vanuit de Arthur Schung Conference Center in de Guyanese hoofdstad. De afgelopen vijf dagen heeft in dit gebouw het vierde internationaal congres over de biodiversiteit van het Guyana Schild plaatsgevonden. ATV heeft u dagelijks in uh, samenwerking met WWF Guyanas uh, Suriname uh, een verslag gebracht van uh, deze conferentie.